How's everyone doing Zero here and welcome to a, another one of my videos. Now today I want to actually talk about the changes that happened in the recent patch of Smash 4 1.08. Now these are community patch notes that well, there's been a lot of people working really really hard even overnight to data mine the game which means that they are comparing the game's actual data. Um, the previous ones compared to the new one so they can find out exactly which changes happen because the game will give you the codes and then you can directly compare the changes that happen in the patch now I actually want to talk about some of the changes that people have uh, or well, all the changes that people have discovered so far there may be more that we will discover in the future but currently as in point in time I'm recording this I want to talk about the changes that are percent so let's begin with that so first of all, I can receive a lot of buffs in this game. Some of the changes he got, he got his four tail change up, the frame data, the startup change from 15 frames to 12 frames, which means that it's considerably faster now. His damage though was reduced from 14% to 12.5%. That means that they made the move faster, but a little weaker, which is a fine ex uh, exchange. I mean, a tail doing more than 10 damage is more than reasonable. And also uh, Ike has a sword and his range. What Ike needed was speed and definitely giving him uh, his four tilt to be faster is definitely a big help. Also his dash attacks changed from a startup reduced from 18 frames to 15 frames and also his damage output on the dash attack was severely increased. It went from doing 10, 7 and 5% uh, depending on the hitbox that you got people with to 14, 11 and 9. It also kills much earlier, much much earlier. So basically they made the move stronger and faster, can only be better. He's a neutraler, the landing lag reduced from 16 frames to 13 frames, again, just giving him more speed. He's forwarder, the hitboxes follow sword chill, hitting above and below him better. So they increase the range, allowing the hitbox to be better, direct buff. They also change his landing lag and it was reduced from 19 frames to 18 frames, which is pretty important. He's forwarder is one of his most important tools in the neutral and it drastically needed a buff last patch and they gave it to him and now it's even better obviously it's gonna be better also the startup from quick draw his side b plus the customs uh custom ones the startup was reduced from 19 to 16 frame that's amazing again faster his jab the first hit transitions into second hit three frames faster which means the jab is more consistent to hit now and the third hit head box is follow sword trail Hit in a moment. So basically, they made him so the uh, the jab combination not only works more consistently, but has more range. So when people get knocked up or somehow, they still get hit. Doesn't matter. He's upper. They gave landing lag reduced from 18 frames to five. That's a big change. So his upper was kind of laggy, but now it's not anymore. Also, the landing lag for his downer was reduced from 26 frames to 23 or 22. Is there's a question mark here? Again, good. I mean, Ike is considerably better. <laughs> considerably better. Then for Zelda, we have, they change her up smash. It goes from, basically they increase the base knockback increase. It approximately kills 20% earlier. That's amazing, <laughs> straight up amazing. He's no chiller, her no chiller. The damage on front hits 1% to 2% and the damage on back hits 2 to 1%. Basically what that means is that if you're spacing no chillers around, you will do more damage because you're hitting with the front hits instead of the back. And they made it so the back ones do less damage. Basically it means that if you're spacing with the move, it does more damage. That's what it really matters. And also the landing lag was reduced from 20, 22 to 19 frames. Again, direct buff. Her upper landing lag reduced 3 frames from 22 to 19. That's pretty consistent actually. And her downer was changed from 21 to 18 frames. That's amazing. That's some really, really good Zelda buffs. Definitely needed. Zelda was a character that was in lower tiers. Then we have Greninja. Did they, nerf, did they nerf him? Nope, they actually buffed him. They gave his four tail the damage alter from 6.5% to 7.3, which means that it's a, it's a better it's a better option, does more damage. And also it has ending frames reduced, approximately 10 frames. So they made the four tail do more damage and it ends tremendously faster. 10 frames is a big difference, man, a big difference. Also, me sword fighter, they changed his backer, the damage from 12 to 14%. And they also changed the airborne assault side B. It now has a displacement trajectory alter lower than before. Hmm, I'm supposing this is a buff? I actually can't tell. But it just means that one of his moves just hits lower than before. So I guess it has a more range, so it can't be worse. 
Now for our old body Meta Knight, we have the four tail, the final head angle alter from 65 degrees to 40, which means that it's more consistent. It's not too up. It's more consistent of a head box. It's more better for spacing. And the ending frame I A S A I A S A. I'm sorry. Reduce on each strike from 35, 33, 35, 38 to 25, 27, and 31. Basically, the meta so you can act out much faster from using Forte, which was the big thing in Brawl that allowed Meta Knight to be as amazing and neutral as he was. So, amazing buff actually to Meta Knight. And also, the damage in the final hit went from 3 to 4%. Again, great. Neutral, neutral uh, landing like reduced. It doesn't say it by how much, but that's always good. His jab damage increased from 1% to 1.2%. And the ending, I mean, obviously, that's good. And also, ending frame reduced approximately 12 frames. So now, Meta Knight's jab has like no lag. <laughs> Literally, no lag. I actually saw Ido abusing jab a lot near the ledge just because he had no lag. It's pretty amazing. Now for Charizard, we have his up throw knockback increased significantly, comparable strength to Mewtwo without the eye. Very strong then, very strong. His down throw knockback reduced significantly, combo throw. So may they made his up throw kill earlier, which is good. You always need kill throws, especially in a game where shields are so powerful. And then down throw, better combo tool, I'm assuming. And then jab, transitions from first to second strike, one frame faster. Now acts as a combo on more most characters. Amazing, and then Jab One increased weight based weight based knockback, which means that it's more consistent now. That's actually these are all amazing changes, by the way. Bouncer, his up tilt damage went from 10 to 9 percent, which is weird, and the startup went from 12 to 11 frames without animation changes. Now hits low to the ground in front, so they improved the range and the frame dead, and they also made it 10 frames faster in ending, went from 51 to 41. So again, they made the move a little weaker, but they gave him more range and speed. I'm I'm down for that. One percent is not that big of a deal. Bouncer already has amazing kill uh, options anyway. For Kirby, they change his uh, force smash up angle sour spot, which means that not too strong ahead. It's a sweet spot. Spot damage reduced 13 to 12 damage. Very random change. <laughs> I don't know what this accomplishes. Maybe you can jab luck with it. I, I don't know. For Villager, they changed the Balloon Triple B. Fuel system mechanics similar to Rob's now recharges noticeably slower, hurting consecutive usage. So this means that Villager can no longer grab the ledge and plank underneath the ledge. Planking is a strategy where you will hang around by the ledge and keep grabbing the ledge repeatedly with your recovery or double jump, effectively making a stalemate where the opponent has to approach you near the ledge. And if your opponent is a character with a weak recovery like Diddycon, for example, or Link, they will get uh, thrown off the stage and then subsequently killed because they had to deal with you on the ledge. It's a very, it's a very frown open strategy. Um, leads to timeouts and things like that. So the fact that it was nerfed, comparable with the fact that Villagers Customs created a bunch of stalemates to begin with, with a uh, tripping trip seed and extreme balloon trip. But then this change makes it so he can no longer up -E because he has like a fuel system somewhere to up -E. He can't just freely up -E. So that's an amazing change. But then I don't like this change. They gave they made it so his down throw does went from 4.5% 4 to 6%, which means that more damage, it does more hits it. Which means that now Bellager has a combo throw, which I don't agree with. I think Bellager was already a good enough character. I actually consider him to be ninth in the game and even better somehow with customs so i don't know i mean uh i mean i i guess it's fine i mean i'm not here to decide but i i think that was that was unnecessary <laughs> now for ness the side man the down b ending frame reduced significantly i don't agree with any uh ness buff he's really a little too good now for falco we have a bunch of buffs for friend falco his neutraler was made now does more damage or actually it does less damage. It went from 12% to 11%. Now hits hits now an outer link, which means that you get the neutral, it just combos into itself pretty much. And the final hit now forces from facing knockback, which means that you can combo off of it because it just always it always ends up in front of you, which allows for combos. Now her forwarder, the arrow damage went from 8 to 9%. Mm -hmm. Landing damage, they reduce it from 5 to 3. The startup was reduced and the landing lag was reduced. So they made the move a lot faster and more reliable, which is great. His upper damage went from 11 to 10%. The sour spot was removed. So the move can only get the good 
portion or the good hitbox of the move, which was amazing. He needed that. And also the startup decrease from seven to, to from 10 to 7 frames so they made his upper come out considerably faster and it's you, you will always get the good hit regardless of how you space it so that means the move is way better now also he's downer the sweet spot trajectory no longer meter ground meteors grounded opponents but sends them upwards which allows for combo setups so you can like jab lock someone into the ground and you downer and then you can combo them off of it just more options mr game and watch had a change on his down tail knockback increase well, that doesn't really make it that much of a difference, really. I mean, Game of Watch is a character that he struggled because he's too light. Uh, he doesn't have the best of neutrals. So this kind of doesn't really help him out that much, you know. Martha and Lucina saw a lot of changes. Oh, dear God. They... Now, they, they're, they're jabs. Their jabs are now... They are... They have a better angle, so they, they fall out better. They have transition frames are decreased, so they're faster, but they reduce the damage a little bit. So they made the move a lot way better, but just reduce damage a little, which is not bad. They're up till the knockback was increased. That's a great. That's great. And the frame reduced from 42 to 39. Looking good. The body hitbox angle now more vertical. Mm -hmm. Marth moves forth if actions taken at new ASA rather than original animation length. So that means that. It's better for space in it. It's more. It's a. It, it's easier for precisional or precisioning yourself rather. Now Lucina Fortil damage increased by approximately one percent. Well, that's that's fine. Neutral. Okay, this is the big one. The neutral layer was reduced three frames on landing leg, which is an amazing change, and I definitely need that. But I I want to see a further further change. That's that's what will make the character. Now the dolphin slash DLP knockback was increased. They needed that too. That, I think it was a little too weak. And the Lucina counter activation now plays a code. I mean, that's fine. Make the character more more consistent. Now, here comes the Rosalina and Luma change, which I don't agree with. That just gave Luma more HP, which to me is like... Rosalina is the type of character I would like for her to be nerfed. But then they, they're just like, wait a second, dude. Luma has way too little HP. Let's give her a little more HP. That to me is like... What? <laughs> I don't know. I don't agree with that. I think they should have... They should make Luma have way less HP, but you know what, man? I don't balance the game. So for Lucario, we have the Jab 1 transition now is the KVG, which is knockback base of growth, which means that it's significantly decreased. Now links into Jab 2 more reliably. Basically, they're trying to make it so Lucario's Jab... What will happen when you Jab people with Lucario is that they will often escape the move, but now they straight up just get Link into the move, which makes Jab a much more reliable and better move as a result. Now for Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong received a lot of changes regarding his cargo throws, which are kind of random because he had an amazing cargo throw. Uh, his cargo throw up allowed him to have an upper follow-up and a neutraler follow-up, which was amazing. Now they just straight up, they just, all of them have end like reduced and they just do more damage. And these may, this make... This may make it in a way that he may not get more follow-ups, or he gets more follow-ups. I'm guessing he will just probably get more follow-ups, but they, they pretty much increase all of them by like 3 or 4%, which is kind of crazy. I mean, I didn't think Donkey Kong was that bad of a character to get such a big buff, but hey, man. Now, poor Diddy Kong. Here we go into Diddy Kong nerves. Oh, God. Now, I understand I'm a Diddy Kong player, so you may think I'd be, I'll be biased with my opinion, but the Diddy Kong nerf... I think it was completely unnecessary, especially because out of all changes in this patch, Diddy Kong received the biggest nerf out of all characters. And and I mean, a lot of people will, will, will say if I say this, you know, it'd be selfish or whatever. But I'm just going to be honest with you. I'm going to be frank and give you my opinion on the topic. I think they nerfed Diddy Kong in this patch because I won with Diddy Kong just too much. It didn't matter. Last patch, they made Diddy Kong. They gave Diddy Kong. Diddy Kong had the same options pretty much. But his options were just less effective because they nerfed the knockback and his spacing and his damage output. So Diddy Kong will do the same things to you, but he will just have much uh, weaker results because they just made him a lot weaker. Which transformed the character into a much, you know, um, a fair one because, you know, his upper will not kill you at 80 from the ground. It will kill you from the ground at 140. So that was, that was fair, right? They gave him a huge nerf last patch, but now they give him an even bigger 
nerf this patch around. The last patch they made it so his upper was just a lot weaker. And this patch they made the upper not only slower in terms of when it comes out, but they also gave him a massive, a massive auto cancelable uh, frame data nerf. It went from 15 frames to 27. That's gigantic. It means that when you land with the move, you have 12 additional frames of lag. And let me tell you, 12 additional frames of lag is comparable to a smash attack sometimes. And that's insane. I, they wanted to kill the move. So they made it so the move has a... They changed the base growth knockback and the, and the uh, base knockback. So basically, the base knockback is, is higher. So it's harder to combo with the tool. And the growth, they made it much less. Which means that initially, the upper has more knockback at the beginning in terms of data in the calculations, but at kill percents, it has way less knockback. This is so effective, they're, they're making it so upper is essentially a useless move. And I explain this to you why. They not only did they also nerf the range, now upper not only has a hitbox underneath Diddy Kong, but it only has a hitbox upwards. And not even behind him either at all. It's just upwards. It's like an actual upwards move. Which kind of sucks because Diddy Kong and like really put use of that move around to space or just play it around in neutral. But the thing is that they in this patch they made an upper in general, they made it slower to come out, much slower to recover from. They nerfed the range of the move. They made it harder to combo with, and they made it so it never kills. Like I was playing Nara the other night, and I up through his zeros of time was at 130%, for a 130% from the ground smash throw, a lower lower steal in the stage, and I had around 30%, which is enough rage for me to kill zeros of time is, it's, That's an overkill. That's like super death pre patch. I up throw him and upper him, and he didn't. He did not even come close to dying. I grabbed him again after he landed. And he still didn't die. That's how extreme the nerf was. Like it to a point where it's like you can make one or two several reads off of a situation like that, and you will still not get the kill. Also, his damage up throw was reduced from eight to five percent, which means that it, it travels less in the air, which means that the up throw upper setup is much worse because the upper not only is the upper weaker and comes out slower, but also the up throw just gets them less farther up, which means that you simply won't kill them. And also does less damage for combos, which sucks. And 3% is a big difference. His down throw was increased from seven to from six to seven percent, which you may think is a buff, but in reality it's not. What it means is that they changed down throw angle last patch, so they can DI a lot more out of it. It's the angle is way worse. Whoa! But this means that it, because it does more damage, they just fly really far away from you at li really low percents. So in reality, they made it so down throw is no longer a combo tool at all. Or not like they nerf a massive proportion of his combo game from up throw and down throw on purpose. Down throw was reduced from 6% damage to 5.5, effectively reducing a lot of his knock uh, setups because they will work much later. For example, if I were to down throw someone last patch around 100%, they will left off the ground, allowing me to combo them with a up smash right away for the kill. Now, if I uh, down throw someone at 100%, they will not even leave the ground because it does less damage and less headstand, allowing me to not combo them at all with up smash. So it's a direct nerf. And it also just affects his whole damage output because down tilt is one of the most used moves. But they gave him a good jab. Now he has a good jab because it just connects faster. In my opinion, that was the biggest nerf out of this patch and the biggest change is that they made it so Diddy Kong went from like a top six character to a mid tier. And that was a tremendous change. And in terms of like viability, it's looking grim, but it's it's just difficult. Um, I will. I mean, I obviously obviously don't agree with the nerf, but you know, I just don't think it was you know warranted. Like, why nerf him? Why nerf him so hard? Well, you know, Sheik was on change in this whole patch. Sheik was not touched at all. Luigi was not touched at all. Pikachu. I mean, they changed some of his up B cancels, but he's still the same good character. Like, it doesn't really actually matter. They did not change. They, they nerfed Sonic up smash, which is kind of random. <laughs> you know, they will nerf Sonic up smash before Sheik, which is which is weird again, you know. So they, definitely this patch was very questionable. Rosalina and Luma got a buff randomly. Rosalina is, you know, top two character in the game. So, you know, a lot of really questionable nerfs in this, uh, in this patch. A lot of top players were not happy with it, me included. But hey, man, it is what it is. 
Captain Falcon received a random change. They made it so his upper damage decreased from 13% to 11%. Effectively nerfing his kill power with up air, but it also adds more combos. So it may be a buff, maybe a nerf, but it needs more testing. Now Link was massively buff. He his grab has more range, has less lag in terms of like pivot grabbing, dash grabbing, and regular grab, they all have less lag. Like like considerably less lag. We're talking about like five frames here, ten frames there, nine frames over there. It's a lot of it's a, lot, a big difference. His down tail does less damage, but it's much faster in terms of a startup and ending. So making it a much faster move, which is a fair trade. His down throw, they change the trajectory from 110 degrees to 83, and it has a lower growth, which means that Link now has finally a a a throw um a, a com combo throw because you know the the grab has a the grab is you know um <clears throat> you have less uh landing lag with it so you can land it easier or be you know it also comes out well actually it's just the ending is reduced so that's good you don't get punished as hard and also you have more follow-ups out of down throw they change the trajectory and the damage so they fly out less farther so you can follow them up and your up smash has much bigger head boxes which means that it's more reliable for comboing because he just gets up there. So amazing buffs for Link. Link was massively nerfed last patch for no real reason, but this pa this patch around they gave him some really nice nerfs. I mean uh, buffs. So you know it kind of offsets the previous big nerf for no reason. Samus, Samus is a character that needed some Link treatment right here, but she only got her up smash has more knockback and kill power increase, and it just has. Head box, the head boxes are bigger, so it helps Link better. That was it. I mean, that's obviously good. The up tail damage for Palutena was changed on the looping head boxes, increased from 1% to 1.2%. Very small change, doesn't really make a difference. Just one move is slightly better, doesn't matter. And then for Olimar, the Pikmin mechanics order no longer reverses from ledge grabs. That was the bug, but now they fixed the bug, apparently. And for Sonic, they 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 gave him a buff, but they also nerfed him. They nerfed his up smash knockback approxim approximately 10% later. So it's not bad at all. Like he, that move kills like an 80, now kills like a 90. It's still good as hell. And he's down there. The ending lag reduced basically. So now when you the thing is that the ending lag was reduced. So now downer, which was a big window for you to punish Sonic because Sonic will usually land with downer. Now you can no longer punish that at all. Like it's just like it's just lagless pretty much, and the stage for example if you off if you up if you downer off the stage, uh, you no longer SD with the downer. Like if you downer off the stage in Smash 4, you die with Sonic, but now you don't. So that's a huge buff in my opinion. That completely upsets the uh, nerf. And Robin, they gave her a small change, not really a buff really. They made it so her wind jab automatically pushes her back from. Uh, from the left, which it didn't previously, which was weird, which was like one of the only characters. And it doesn't really matter. Anyway, so these are all the changes, everything. The biggest the biggest things about this patch is that some of the bad characters got really buffed and Lady Kun was massively nerfed. That's like the TL TLDR of the patch, essentially. And and new characters. But yeah man, um obviously I heavily disagree with Diddy Kun everything. But I mean hopefully he gets buffed in some of the future patches i think he deserves to be but buffed but uh i mean if i keep winning with him i mean it's gonna be a little hard so we'll see about that anyway guys hope you guys didn't mind my bias a lot but i mean it's my video so you know um i am bound to give my opinions sometimes despite you know the thing is that you know i make these videos to give out my thoughts so hopefully you guys don't mind that or just understand that's where it come from i don't know something like that anyway guys hopefully you guys learn what the patch was about but you know thank you guys for watching really means a lot and i'll see you guys around another video thanks for watching see you around